Dancing Doodle video. Today you're joining me on a very windy day. I can hear the wind blowing outside and I think it's really the perfect weather for some indoor doodles and indoor activities. This is my new sketchbook, which I introduced in a previous video. I was able to fill in a couple more pages since then. This page we did on the Reddit stream nice little faces. Probably a warm-up page. And these were some requests from some of the people enjoying the stream. A meatball man fighting off a army of spaghetti soldiers. Someone always requests a cat, and I appreciate the request because it helps me improve. These are very sweet and very kind space marines. Kind of an opposite in, uh, reenactment of them. Someone requested a reggae shark flying on a rocket, smoking a bong. I thought that was such a clever little doodle request. I had a very good time drawing. And because it's so windy today, I was kind of warming up before the video, imagining a windy, windy day for someone else. I imagine this person here with a big, heavy coat, maybe waiting at the bus stop or waiting outside or decided to go for a walk. Maybe they stopped off at the local lake or pond just to reflect gray, windy days are perfect for melancholy people, you could say. This is a more comfortable doodle that I was messing with. Someone inside, the safety of their home, the warmth of their indoor home, and outside, very windy. Trees were looking pretty bare, but we gave them a nice little friend here, kind of like our friend Bob Ross would do give him a friend so he's not out there in the elements all by himself. I like this doodle a lot because it gives you a feeling of safety. It kind of makes you appreciate the cozy walls and warmth you are surrounded by when you're inside. And then you look out into the brisk day. Makes you want to just curl up under the blankets a little tighter, doesn't it? Why don't we get into a few more doodles? And I do understand that there's probably going to be some smudges, just like with this one, where some smudges were created because of ink from this page or, or whatnot. But I kind of have to admit, I like the way it looks gives it a little life. So, even though I enjoy this doodle very much, it probably will get smudged, but we're not married to our doodles, are we? I like to use this, you know, mouse pad, wrist pad thing, just to kind of give my book something to push down on, so it doesn't have to fold down. And I think we can get into some doodles now. zoomed in the video just a slight bit, just so you can really doodle along with me and see what we're doodling. Now, we can continue with the theme of a windy day, if we'd like, or perhaps just wanting to stay bundled up on a cold day. Either or. Let's just see what kind of doodles we're going to meet today. Starting off with some hair here. Maybe someone's eyes right here. I was already doing my warm up with those windy day pictures. Someone in the window, someone in a coat. So I do feel 
pretty much warmed up for the most part. However, I like to do these fast little gesture doodles where you don't really have to worry too much about details, even though I am shading and still detailing as I go, aren't I? Someone here wearing a sweater, and it's really loose on one shoulder. Shoulder, and they've got a, their arm up here. Just like this, and they're nursing a nice warm cup of tea. Or, you know, if tea is not really your, your thing, maybe it's a nice hot cup of cocoa, hot chocolate, some say. There they are. Maybe their legs come up, just like this. Sitting, kind of with their legs to the side. And we got another leg here. We're kind of just tucked under the other one. And we'll give them some nice fuzzy socks. There we are. Maybe we just see the hint of one, one foot back here. Hint of a little smile here, maybe a little blush. There we are. Another cozy person inside, warming up. Have some steam coming off of this. Really give it some really give it the look of warmth, safety, and stuff like that. Maybe a big pillow here. Really fluffy. Something to give our little friend here. Something to lean on. like our friend back here, looking at the cold, windy day. Maybe we've got a little window here. We'll just kind of trace the other one, just like this. And we'll just kind of give this more of a frame look. like that. And I like to add these little lines in the corners of the glass, just to kind of give it a look of reflection. And, you know, with just a windy little wisps, maybe a leaf. signify how cool it is outside while you're stuck, or not stuck, but intentionally inside to avoid this weather. There we are. Just a little shading here, just like this. Oh, to get lost. 
lost in a good book. Such a fantastic thing. I hope you read. It really does just help your imagination. Helps you escape. Helps things just kind of fade away. a little thicker. It's a long book. Gives you plenty of chances to come back to this little nook. And enjoy a book. Be nice and relaxed. There we are. There we have another picturesque Windy day, and you're inside. Makes you feel kind of cozy, for sure. So, so far we have this character here with a coat, waiting in the elements. Someone inside looking out at the elements. And someone with their back turned to it. Socks and a nice book to read. Fantastic. Fantastic. Let's get into another doodle here. On a windy day. this up completely, but if you've ever seen the movie My Neighbor Totoro, it's about a family that moves to a rural town somewhere in Japan, and it's surrounded by a forest with great big trees. It's a magical place, and there's a, a spirit that lives there nature, forest spirit, whatever you want to call it. And he's very, very large. And these two girls, sisters, that make his acquaintance travel with him a little so that um, they, be they share a great, great bond Three of them sit up top on the trees, way up top. And they dance and just kind of scream out into the world. makes things magical. That's not the perfect rendition of him, but it kind of gets the point across. Our little friend sitting up However, when Totoro moves around, when he travels and, you know, flies through the air, he creates a great gust behind him. And one of the girls, one of the older sisters, I believe, says, Now I know how the wind is created. And every time there's a windy day outside, it makes me think of Totoro. Flying in the sky. Well, I hope you've found yourself very relaxed, very. 
very cozy and perhaps ready for bed. I just want to thank you for spending time with me and doodling with me. We got to meet some very interesting characters. Windy Day was our theme today similar to how it is outside right now for me. I hope you enjoyed the doodles. And you're tucked in nice and warm and ready for a good night's rest. We'll let our friend Totoro have his fun outside. Travel around with his little friends. Create the windy day while we're in the safety our beds, tucked under our blankets. Thank you so much for watching, my dudes. Be good to yourself.